Hi, welcome to Siemens NX 2007 video tutorial. It's a follow-up to the last one, the storage compartment. Today I want to show you some variations for this exercise. So this is the original surface done with an extrude and two fill surfaces. This one here is a variation. It's done with through curves surface and two through curve mesh surfaces. And this one is done with one through curve surface and two studio surfaces. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. So these are the original curves. I will need two more lines, so I want to go for a line and it should start from an end point over here and go to another end point over there. Okay, the support plane, yeah, that would be okay, but I could select, I think that's this datum plane, no, it's that one. I could use this one as support plane, that one here. Okay, I need another line. Again, should start at an end point. That's just to make sure it's really the end point. Okay, and should go up to another end point over there. Okay, and the support plane could be, let's show the datum coordinate system. So that could be this plane here and confirm. Okay, in Katia I did it in one feature and I can't do it in Siemens NX. At least I can't find any feature which does the trick. So I have to split the surface into three parts, but I want to show you how to make a smooth curve string anyway. So let's go here for more. No, I'm on the wrong tabs. So go for curves, go for smooth curve string and go for tangent curves and make it like this and confirm. Then another one up there and OK. One more here and one more over there as well. And now I can go for a through curve mesh. So go to surface, go to through curve mesh, single curve, stop at intersection, you have this curve here. Add another one here, then go to cross curves, add this one here, go for again tangent curves, and another one here, and confirm. Now let's see. Yeah, this worked, so it depends on those four smooth curve strings. Now, I want to add a through curve mesh like this. I select single curve, I select this one and that one here, and add another one, and that will be only that small edge here. So make sure it's not the edge, but the curve string. Maybe deselect it. Go here and it need to be this one, not the edge. If you use the edge, you, you will get problems. So go for this one here. Reverse the direction. That's okay. Now go for the cross curves. 
and one cross curve would be this one here. Not all around, so go for again single curve, deselect, like this and like that. Add another one, again single curve, stop at intersection, and go again for that single curve smooth. Yes, and don't forget, that's okay. And now we need at least tangency to that surface here. And this was the second guide and the second primary. So the last primary should be tangent to the surface. And the last cross should be also tangent to the surface. And that's okay. Yes, and confirm. Now the same thing on this side. Go for another through curve mesh. Select single curve, yes. This one and that arc. Add another one. Again, only that small single curve, yes. Now go for the cross curves, this one and that one, and just deactivate those at least at the moment, so we can see if this works at all. Now add another cross curve and that would be this one here plus that arc. Looks good. Now again. The second last primary should be tangent to that surface here. And the last cross should be tangent to this surface as well. And confirm. And then sew those surfaces together. So go for sew, select maybe this one first, then this one, and then that one. And confirm. Great. Let's hide that surface and go for the second variation. Again, I will need that surface here and I want to go for, through curve mesh again. So again, select one line, add another one, this one here, and that's the smooth curve string, not the line before. So, now go for the cross curves, and that would be this one here, and that one. And I don't need it to be tangent to anything. And confirm. Now for the studio surface, it's the same as with the through curves mesh. So go for studio surface. First go for primary single curve, yes, like that. Then add that small line here. Reverse the direction. Go for the guide cross curves on this one and that arc. And second would be this line and that arc here. Now, the last guide should be tangent to the surface and the second section should be also tangent to that surface. And apply. Same on the other side. Select this one, add another one, that small line here, then go for the cross curves, that would be this one here and that arc, add another one again, this line and that arc. Now I need the tangency to that surface 
and again to that surface and confirm and once again I can sew those surfaces and ok let's hide those curves right now those three surfaces are at the same position so in order to present them like I did in the preview I will have to extract the geometry and move it as copy so that's the third one it should be moved in that direction 500 the first one in that direction so maybe hide this one and go for the first one that's the fill surface right here now I want to extract the geometry so go for home yes go for more go for extract geometry make it associative hide original that's okay select the body that's this one and confirm so that's the first extracted body let's hide this let's bring in the second surface this one this will not be changed and not moved so I can leave it like that let's hide it and the third one I need a copy and I want to move it later on so go again for extract geometry again it's the body select it and confirm now those two bodies have to be moved so let's go for menu go for edit go for move object I want to move this object at a distance yes the vector should be this one here that direction and I want to go for 500 and I don't want to move the original because I, if I move the original the parents will be moved as well and that's not a good idea because all those bodies will be moved to different but the same location from before so that would be copy original yes let's go for ok and it's moved over here and I have to hide that extracted body yeah now let's move the first extracted body in that direction so again go for move object select the object the vector would be in, in this case that direction and again I wanted to move it 500 and again I want to copy the original and confirm now hide this one and bring in the second one so these are the three surfaces and now you could go for analysis and do different and different uh, face shape tools or curve shape tools so let's maybe go for uh, section analysis select body one body two and the original one and we can clearly see those two sections are practically identical but it differs from this one here let's cancel this and go for maybe the face curvature again select those one two three and that's kind of strange so let's deactivate this and select only one so face curvature maybe the original one the that's this one here no that's that one here so go for again for face curvature select it it looks like this cancel go for face curvature select this one it looks like that 
it's quite different from this one or go for face curvature and select the not moved one that would be that zoo here looks like the same as this one and i'm done so i hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like and leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like and leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help and you could follow me also on grabcat facebook twitter and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye